we are giving a little history. A little background how story we, on Ed and Mel. How we got to yes, Northern California. From our teeny tiny little towns in Canada. Yeah, and why we are doing the whole YouTube thing. Yeah. So yeah, stick so around. Thing, we will so. jump right into it. I'm Mel. I'm Ed and we are Ed and Mel. <laughs> so today we are going to be going on a little trip down memory lane. We are. Well, let's just jump right into it. The beginning. How long have we the been together? The beginning. We've been together for 17, 17 years. A long, horrendous years. Oh, come just on. Kidding. Really? 17 very fast years have gone by. I can't believe it doesn't even feel like a day over. God, five years maybe. I say everything is five everything years Everything is five years for you. So anyway, where it all began. Back in 2002, I went to a broomball nationals tournament where Melanie was playing with Team Manitoba. On the provincial team? Yep, yeah, I ended up following her around for pretty much the whole weekend. And then <laughs> Saturday they had a banquet, a social. Yep. Um, to close up. It's like the award ceremony. Yeah, to close up the tournament, closing yeah. ceremonies, blah blah blah. There's a little dance afterwards. Yeah, so anyway, I asked Mel to dance, finally get my courage up after chasing her all weekend, mm -hmm. and uh, and asked her to dance with me. So, yeah. we were dancing away. Of course away I said and, yes, because he was cute. Yes, and my heart was pounding, I was smitten, and what comes out of my mouth next, but I love you, I'm gonna marry you. The first night. I was like, <laughs> What? Yeah, it kind of blew Melanie away, but there you go. Apparently it works because yeah. we are still together after 17, 17 years. 17 years. 17 years. We've been married been, 11. Mm -hmm. Going and strong. Going strong, going very strong. Yes. So we are absolutely in love and we buy a house in Winnipeg after we get married. And True. Well, that's just what you do. Yeah, that's just what you do. Or that's to what start, we did. To start life, and <laughs> we're married, and we're going to buy a house. Bought a house in Winnipeg with we the did. intentions of never leaving. Well, we were like mad renovating. It was yeah. like all tore apart, and we were putting it back together. It was an old, close to 100 year old house. Yes, yeah, so 100 years this year. It was a actually. fun, fun project. A fun project. So, bought yeah. a house. And then we ripped it apart. Ripped Literally. I come home from work and Mel would have another two walls demoed and yes. a laundry list of well, this is what we need to do tonight. Side note between I was, between six and two in the morning. True. I was yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> I was landscaping during the summer, so the winters I was I had off, yeah. obviously you can't landscape and nothing in the snow. to do. What do you do with a farm girl that has nothing to do? And a whole house to renovate? Yeah. Uh renovate. Grab the whole a sledgehammer, house. Why Yeah, not? I was really good at demo demo. I was like <laughs> the demo queen. So anyway, so So grew up in small teeny tiny towns in Canada. Yes, I grew up in Waldersea, which is a population of like eight back and in the day. I grew up in McCurry, Manitoba, and that's like population of Around 500, maybe yeah. a little less. Yeah, so small town, Prairie, Manitoba. Yeah. Both farm small kids. Small town. Um, and then... So what brought us to Northern California? Well, we ended up going on a cruise in 2012. Yep. So Our in, first cruise, yes, actually. Our very first cruise. I was really nervous because I thought I was going to be seasick, which I wasn't. I was yeah, really... so awesome. We uh, end up going up for breakfast on the very last day of the cruise. Yep. Um, and just so happened that the people we were cruising, cruising with, with were looking for someone exactly. Yeah, they turned out after we started talking about what they did and what I did. Um, they offered me a job in Texas. So bing, bang, boom! Six months later, yes, I'm in we're Thailand, in Texas, enjoying it. Small country kids in Texas. Well. Yeah. What an experience that was. Everything was great. Southern hospitality is amazing. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. We I didn't really know what to expect when we moved to Texas, but it blew me yeah, away. Yeah, so three years of working in Texas. Mel was uh, working away doing videography Video and, and photography. And photography. Yeah. And we end up getting, I end up getting another job opportunity job in Minnesota. Opportunity in Minnesota. Yeah. So it's like, huh, Minnesota. We, it's January. Mm -hmm. And we take the job and we have to move there move. With, within the month. Within so the month. we rented a place and 
got everything sight unseen, lucked out because we moved yes. to a gorgeous town called Stillwater, Minnesota. If you ever have the opportunity gorgeous, to go there, old, go first visit. First place of Minnesota. So beautiful, especially in the fall. Oh, uh, it's beautiful. So place. beautiful. So we were in Minnesota for a year and a half, and we end up moving or get it. We end up in Minnesota for a year and a half, and I end up getting another. Job opportunity. In the Minnesota, actually, I learned re uh, that's where I started real estate photography. Mm -hmm. Random fact. Yes. So but anyway, is. you get you get another job another opportunity. Another amazing opportunity dun, 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 dun. in Northern California. So it was kind of a no-brainer. Um, obviously, the pay was more. Yeah. Um, and it was come work for us in California. So again, I pack the house, get Wallace, get yeah. Lou, get all of our furniture, and in a moving truck. Here we, we drive. Come. From Minnesota to California. So during that drive, it was a crazy drive, and we talked and videoed and talked and videoed, and we were like, let's start a YouTube channel. We kind of thought about it back then. Yeah, and, and then Chris kind of work. Life got swept well, away. Yeah, with work, eat, sleep, and... repeat. You know, it's been crazy busy. And we just felt like we're like missing all these moments that we mm. really should be capturing yeah, so. so that we can look back on them or at least share them with our loved ones. Everyone's that we well, all our relatives are back in Canada, in Canada and or Australia, in, and all, all, all over, over the globe. place. If so you, on Tuesdays and Fridays, Fridays. we're going to be dropping videos. Mm -hmm. um, if you like them, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if not, just come on and check us out because we appreciate you watching. Yeah, just and come, you may even come learn along. a thing or two because yeah. we're pretty, we're pretty intuitive, old school people. Yeah, so I guarantee you're old gonna, school, middle school. <laughs> yes, like I guarantee you're going to have fun. And come along. Definitely laugh on the account of us a lot. <laughs> and our furry dog Wallace. Yeah, you can't help but love our, our old English sheepdog. So until next time. Stay bye. fit and have fun. Tuesday and Friday. <laughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday and Friday. Tuesday and we have, Friday. <laughs> we have videos coming out um, of just us being adventurous couple well, that we are. With, with most our, likely our yeah, shady, our crazy old shady English dog, sheepdog Wallace. Wallace. <laughs> yes. Hashtag our dog Wallace on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, on this camera. Our camera. <laughs> camera. <laughs>